You don't really know much about Halloween. And welcome back to another unboxing video. This time we are going to look at a few things that I got from SRS, which um, I don't buy a lot of stuff through there, but uh, I like their content. And uh, so occasionally I'll go and, and grab some stuff, especially when there's a, a good sale going on, which there was in this case. Um, and if you'd like to check out more of these videos, sorry, before we get into that, um, just uh, take a look at all the other stuff that we have on our YouTube channel. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, food content, unboxing content, uh, movie-related content, spooky stuff. And um, if you want uh, the other stuff that we do, including our blogs, uh, our podcasts, our TV show, and our other uh, YouTube stuff, if you're you know, not able to find it through the YouTube channel, I don't know why that would happen, but who knows. Um, just go to thenewlydeads.com. You can also find out events where we're going to be and... Um, we are artists, so you can also see uh, where we're going to be, where we're going to be selling our art. Uh, if you'd like to reach us, you can reach us at contact at thenewlydeads.com. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or you can hit us up on our Facebook page um, where you can find out everything that's going on with us as well as uh, spooky content that I post, um, articles about upcoming like films and things like that. Um, we just like to put as much out into the world uh, to make it a... a happier place because we love our, our spooky stuff and we know there's a lot of other people out there that do too. So I don't know where I'm going with this, but let's go ahead and dig into this. So um, with SRS, they send out some some fun little things here. We've got a legend, or I'm sorry, the Great Yokai War Guardians uh, bookmark. So if you are a reader like myself, that will come in handy. Uh, you've got a little one sheet card here for uh, that film as well as Liverleaf, which is another film that they have available through uh, their site. Uh, then they also included a poster here. We've got Clay, which says Clay is making friends. Good job for Clay. And then we've got the 8th Annual B-Movie Film Festival. That, um, that's a cool little, little art there for Tor Johnson, if you're a, a fan of Ed Wood's films at all, or... I'm sure you've heard of Tor Johnson, or if you uh, like old Don Post masks. I think Don Post made a, uh, a Tor Johnson mask. I don't remember, though. That's a good question. i put that up here if I remember to. Um, so the first film that I picked up was Night Feeder. This is from 1988. Uh, it was directed by Jim Whitaker. Uh, this is his only credit. Uh, it stars Kate Alexander, who was a new guy, uh, Whisper to a Scream. Um, the plot of this film is fear chokes the freewheeling underbelly of San Francisco's punk scene as a killer stalks the night to feed an unspeakable appetite. I'm down. Um, this uh, shot on video film was Kate Alexander's debut. And if you know me at all, you know that I'm a, a big shot on video fan. Um, I, I had seen a lot of it as a younger person, um, but kind of never really knew that it was a thing. And, um, or what it was exactly, I just knew that some of the films that we got at uh, the video store were kind of a lower quality than other ones, and um, so I didn't know that there was a name for it or anything, you know, I was a young, dumb kid at the time, but since then, I have dove deep into the, uh, the far end of the pool, uh, I've read multiple books, I've got a, a very large collection now, and it's, it's one of my favorite things, because there's a lot of heart and a lot of um, sincerity that goes into those. Now, sometimes it's people just kind of throw them whatever they can at the wall to see what sticks. But most of the time, to me anyway, you've got somebody that is so desperate to tell a story that they don't want to, you know, uh, uh, try and wait to raise the money that may never happen. Uh, they don't want to go into massive debt trying to, you know, get their story out there. They're just kind of taking DIY whatever they can get, uh, you know, their phone, uh, a, you know, a video camera, a, a digital camera, whatever they can get their hands on, 
and then just going out and making the movie. And as a kid, that was something that I did um, with my friends, with my brother, and um, uh, I even went to film school for a couple of years, made some, some short films there as well, worked on some productions. And uh, so filmmaking is something that I've always enjoyed. And so for me, shot on video is kind of the purest way of uh, seeing somebody's vision come to life. Now, is it the cleanest? Is it always the best? No, but it's the heart. Um, so that's my personal soapbox. I'll jump off there now so we can keep on with the video because you he came here to see what we got in the box. The only other thing I picked up from the sale was Space Monster Wang Magui. I think is how you say that. Wang Magui it's from 1967. This is uh, a kaiju film. Uh, it was directed by Hyuk Jin Guan. Uh, this is his only credit, which is unfortunate because this film is damn entertaining. Uh, it stars uh, Wan Nam Kyung, uh, who has a long list of credits, but none of them I, which I recognize, which is okay, because that gives me something to dig into later to go check out. So um, I like learning, and so I like when there's a bunch of movies I don't know about. Uh, the plot of this film is that aliens from another world seeking the conquest of Earth invade with flying saucers. Sounds familiar. Um, they unleash a gigantic monster called Wang Magui, who destroys everything in its path with a powerful death ray. Uh, this was the first Korean science fiction fan, uh, film shot entirely with a Korean cast and crew. However, it is not the first Korean kaiju film. Uh, this was actually predated by uh, Bulgasari from 1962. But I saw this on Tingler Television, which is the uh, host channel that hosts our television show, Dollar Store Drive-In. Check it out, Wednesday's night at 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, and my my uh, kid and I started watching this, and it was just bonkers. Um, and we just immediately fell in love with it because we are both, uh, I raised them on Godzilla and Rodan and, uh, you know, Gamera and just all the, the big kaijus. Uh, and to this day, that's a love affair that's continued. But I'd never seen this, and it was just so entertaining that we couldn't take our eyes off it, and we ended up watching the whole thing. And when I saw that this was available on Blu-ray now through SRS, I, I had to pick it up. So uh, if you've never seen it, highly recommend it, especially if you love giant monster movies. Which I do. So that is it. Very small haul. That's okay. Didn't want to break the bank. Um, so I appreciate you taking your time to check this out. Look for all the other unboxing videos that are coming your way and all the stuff that's already been posted. There is a lot of it out there and lots more to come. So always remember that uh, tomorrow is not guaranteed. So don't forget to unbox your heart. See you next time.